Lately, I figured Google made Notebook LM giving me a fresh approach of taking notes, bringing AI and notes together. As a serious note taker, I couldn't wait to explore it. So last week, I played with it enough time and it's time to show you how it works and see it is worth your attention and time. As a note, it is currently only available in US. So keep that in mind. So let's get started with few terms first. Notebook, you can think of it as a folder. The difference is each notebook is completely separate and we have distinction between notes and source. You can think of note as a single note you write or an outcome from the chat. It's within a notebook and source on the other hand is a static doc. Notebook LM, the model will use sources to answer your questions. You can upload directly from Google Drive, PDF, or copied text. It's also within a notebook. As a note, notes and sources sitting in one notebook will not be accessible from another one. Finally, citations, a specific block of text quoted from your source doc that is considered relevant to your question and was used by Notebook LM to build the response for you. These new terms may be confusing now, but it will make sense if you finish watching this video. With these terms in mind, let's explore UI. Let's go through UI quick. When you create a new notebook, you can see the left search bar, bottom search bar, and center dashboard. Notebook LM is designed to be exclusively used with your sources. You can only start a chat after you add some sources. And you can add some sources by uploading directly from Google Drive, PDF, text file, or copied text. So if you use Google Drive a lot with Docs, this can be extra beneficial as you can add scattered sources into this notebook and explore your ideas with single goal. As a note, you can add 20 files and 20,000 words per each file, which you can include 4 million words total as your source. This is a lot to hold your information as a context and do reasoning with you. Once you add some sources, the search bar shows the number of sources selected for conversation. You can select or deselect sources depending on your needs. Usually, I select a single source if I want to refresh myself about the source and use all the sources when I want to draw a big picture with familiar materials. Then, you can start asking questions like you use in ChatGPT or other services. I will touch more about the conversation shortly. And you can also add your own notes in the center dashboard and Notebook LM provides chats or actions with these notes too. Give yourself some time to get familiar to this UI. Then let's dive into a few use cases which can boost your knowledge synthesis process with Notebook LM. One big umbrella concept I like about this app is it actually forces you to ask questions about your sources. By asking questions and having a conversation with AI, I believe you can solidify your understanding and synthesizing your knowledge as a web rather than scattered pieces of information. With that in mind, let's see the first use case. It is quick review. Notebook LM gives a nice way to review your materials quickly. Let me show you the example. So if you click any of your materials, it shows summary and key topic. From the experience, this is quite accurate. This can be a great starting point, especially if you haven't touched your source for a while and want to have a quick recap session. And you can click these key topics to discuss those with AI. If I click div work like this, it shows the main topics in this PDF and the model shows the description of the div work. I was able to refresh the information without going through this whole PDF. So that is pretty useful. 
and let's see the second use case. It is interactive conversation. Ability to discuss topics with AI as a partner is the most powerful feature you can use this app. First, select sources you want to base off. You can select or deselect based on your needs. And once, you're, once you choose your sources, you can ask with your own question. Or you can use the provided ones from the model. Let's say, how does multitasking affect productivity? Let's click this one. Then it gives you not only the outcome, but also citations like here. And you can see where this was coming from. And like I explained, citations are the reference points where AI models base off to extract outcome for you so you can confirm original sources like a deed. Based on experience, Notebook LM can have hallucinations like any other AI models, yet most times it was pretty accurate about sources and you can at least have an option to confirm by yourself. If you have enough experience with ChatGPT, you know it's really hard to keep them on track once they start hallucinating and showing the off-topic answers. Plus, most times we don't even know the sources where they come from. So I love the effort of Notebook LM focusing on our sources. The third use cases I want to introduce is to create and curate. As you keep having conversation, you can say some responses you like from the model with the pin. The pinned responses will be displayed in the center dashboard as a note. I love this feature as I was lazy to copy and paste the answer from ChatGPT every time while I'm having conversation and oftentimes I lost them and ask again. This feature itself allows me to focus on materials without worrying to lose the information later. Then, try select these notes. Notebook LM shows a few available actions, like summarize, suggest related ideas, and create study guidelines, or you can put your own prompt. From experience, it was useful to combine notes to a single one before I move them to Obsidian and create an outline for my writing it was pretty good too like i'm showing here i ask outline for my blog and it gives intro and three points and conclusion too finally you can share your notebooks with other people this is quite similar how you share your google docs with others just click the share button and add people and grant assets and this can be extra beneficial again if you use Google ecosystem a lot. Certainly, uh, there are limitations with this new app. First, it allows source-only chat. Like I explained, you can't even start a conversation without adding sources first. But I want to put some emphasis again that this is not a direct ChatGPT competitor. I think the idea of this app is to utilize AI to maximize your notes to your advantage. And second, you cannot chat with notes and sources at the same time at this point. And third, of course, it can have hallucinations. From playing with it, I realize a few advantages using this tool. First, it is enforcing you to ask, like I said, being positive is important to understand topics deeply. And second, it's enforcing me to think of more of outcome. Oftentimes, I do note taking for the sake of note taking without considering how I will utilize them and enhance my outcome. And this app was gently reminding that what matters is outcome from the sources. I don't think it can replace my Obsidian Flow or any other tools you use. Yet, you can pair this app as a reasoning tool with the notes you've taken and play with them with AI so you can have better understanding of your knowledge and different perspectives as well. So this is it for this video. Thank you for watching.
and please subscribe to this channel.